How's it going guys? So I've been asked quite a few times how to get started wild camping or just camping in general. Now I want to go through the essentials and we'll do a budget version and you know if you're certain you're going to like it we will do a higher higher end budget as well. There's only a small amount of things that you need to buy. Let's go with the obvious one, a tent. So for the budget option, I'm going to pick the Eurohike Tamar 2. There's not a huge amount of length in there, but because it's a two person, you can lie diagonally. It only costs 30 to 40 pounds, just stable, waterproof, should serve you well if you treat it right. For the higher spec, I yeah, I think I'm going to pick the Lanshan 1, which is it's not the highest priced one, but it's a lot lighter. 2.8K for the Eurohike, and it's less than a kilogram for this. The only con is you need to bring your own trekking poles, which are cheap, and they help you walk as well. So you've got the added bonus there. Next thing I'm gonna go with, the sleeping mat. This is essential. Don't overlook sleeping mat. You will be freezing. So for the budget one, just a foam mat, which they're not very comfy. You can get sort of lumpy ones or ribbed ones, make it a little bit more comfy. Or the luxury option is the airbed. And now I've yet to find the perfect airbed. If you're using an airbed, you will also need the foam mat uh, just to protect it from punctures. Because at some point, that is going to get punctured. That is why I normally don't use either of these. I use a cot, which I got from OEX. So next on the list, you're gonna need something to sleep in, obviously. So for the budget, I'm gonna go for the army sleeping bag, the Arctic version, which can be had for about 35 pound. If you're going more high spec, Get yourself a down bag, just make sure to keep it dry. But for the same comfort rating as the army one, you're gonna to need to spend over a hundred pound. The OEX Leviathan, which is a really good bag. But just keep an eye on that comfort rating. Go lower than you need. So if you're gonna be sleeping in zero degrees conditions, make sure it says minus 10 just to give you that added uh, buffer zone. Continuing on the army theme, so you can see behind me here is a Bergen. This is what I'm gonna choose for my budget range for the rucksack. If you're going budget, your stuff is normally gonna be a little bit more chunky. So this is perfect, there's 120 liters. You can just chuck stuff in there all day. If you wanna go more the premium route, pick yourself um, an Osprey bag or 3FUL, both really good makes. If you've got more premium gear, you only need to be looking at maybe 60 litre. I tend to take this thing when I want, when I'm going in really cold conditions, I'm taking a few luxuries with me, like a chair or a lantern. I know that'll fit in there. Next on the essentials list is a cook set. There's a lot of different options out there. You'll find the most popular is probably gas, which is very versatile, apart from in extremely cold weather. But for first timers, I'm gonna recommend a meth stove. This cooks a little bit slower, but it's safer. It's easy to use. If you are really tight on cash, you could go with the BCB option. The BCB stove, you do need to be a little bit more careful with. You can't control the flame size on there. For your cutlery, let's go with the, the Wildo, which is very cheap, it's only about two pound, and it's just a one piece job, everything in one. If you're going a bit higher, you can go with a titanium spork, saves a lot of weight. And with that added length, you can use it for reaching into the ready meals, like ration packs, adventure meals, something like that. You don't necessarily need a knife, but it's nice to have one in case you're not sure when you want to use that. 
I'm just going to go with the camless chunk to start off. That is a perfect little knife. The last thing on the list is water collecting. So, budget, just take an empty plastic bottle. There's no difference, is there? And get yourself a couple of chlorine tablets to make sure that water is clean. So you don't know what parasites and bacteria are in streams. For, I can't, I can't think of the word, for <laughs> if you want to spend extra cash, get yourself a little soya filter and this water bag by Audley Ebb. I found it brilliant. The soya filter fits on. It does drip out a little bit, but you can take it on and off when you want to use it. Or you can just use their sort of water bags for it. Last thing, code of contact. Now, most important thing, if you're caught by the landowner, you outstayed your welcome, he asks you to move on, pack up and go. You could try and talk about it. You could say, if I clear up after me, you know, is it all right? He might say it's all right. If he says go, make sure you pack up and move on because at that point, it becomes aggravated trespass and it's illegal. Until that point, you just, you're just staying in one point. Until you overstay your welcome, Next, most important rule of all, probably, if that first one wasn't, leave no trace. Right, that means no burn marks. If someone walks past that place the next day, they should not know you were there. The only thing that should be there maybe is a bit of flattened grass. Uh, but apart from that, take all your rubbish home, don't leave any burn marks and Nobody's got anything to worry about. You've just enjoyed your time in nature, and even I try and leave the place better than I found it. If there's rubbish there, just chuck it in your rubbish bag, take it home with you. Another important one is to try and go far away from civilization. So you don't want to see any roads or cars or houses. Um, it's just common courtesy as well. You know, people don't want to see those tents from the road, they find it a bit cheeky. If you're up on the mountain top, if you're like a mile away from the road, you know, nobody should see an issue with that. The last one I'm gonna go with is a good rule to follow. It's to try and tell somebody where you're going, what time you're expected back. Because if you get in trouble, they'll know where you are. Try to camp with somewhere with a signal. Now, sometimes that is hard to do. Better so that if you get in trouble, you've got an instant contact and people can contact you as well straight away. So, that's it. Let's go through the breakdown of what I said, what I've recommended for the budget. I went with, I gotta think about this now. I went with full mat, Eurohike to Mar 2, Army sleeping bag, Army Bergen, the Wildo cutlery set, and the Trangia stove. And if you want to go higher end, which is a little bit lighter, more high spec, I went with the Airbed, the Lancham one, the OEX Leviathan, uh, the Titanium Spork, see, I'm remembering all these, <laughs> the Camelus Chunk. Portly Air water bag, soya filter, and the Trangia stove again, wasn't it? Oh, and the Osprey rucksack, or 3FUL, if you want to go a little bit lighter. Yeah, if I've forgotten anything, they'll be on the screen anyway. <laughs> so all the links to these things are below. Let me know if you think that helped you, and happy camping.